Hey, this is Mark, the other Chopstick guy. And tonight was our second night to play with the Honey Badger lights by Interfit. It was my first time to actually shoot with these lights and I was sure impressed with how well they work. So tonight my idea was to really push these lights. I wanted to see how well they would perform. So we went out while the sun was still straight up. We met up with our friend Allison who is an avid uh, sports woman and she loves to hunt and fish and, and play in the outdoors. So we thought what a great opportunity to really try out these lights by taking her out to a lake up in the mountains and let's get some shots of her fly fishing. So for our first shot, we actually put these lights right out in the water. So one of the things I like right away with these lights is the fact that they're very compact and lightweight. When we use a lot of our large mono lights, it requires us bringing out sandbags so we can sandbag our lights so they're not going to fall over. These were so lightweight that I really had no fear that they were going to tip over in the water. So after getting a few great shots of Allison, we decided one of the things that it was lacking was some backlight. So we pulled out another honey badger light and we placed that behind her with just the bare bulb so that we actually could get a little separation from the background. We were really impressed with uh, how well these things did, especially, gotta remember, we're shooting this in the bright sunlight. One of the great things about using these lights is the fact that we can control everything right there on camera. So the sun was still very high in the sky and we decided to move out of the water and we decided to get some pictures of her. So we tried to find a little bit of shade for her to sit down in and I think these lights performed uh, amazingly. So finally, the sun went down enough so that we actually can get some backlighting on her. It was a beautiful spot where we saw some trees that were being backlit and they were just glowing. So we moved her into position and started to make some just beautiful dreamy looking photos. We would say these probably are very comparable to like the Alien Bee Digibee light. But here's one of the big advantages. Number one, they're about 50 bucks cheaper. Number two, the controller system is like $79. If you want to control your lights remotely with the uh, Alien B Digibees, you're going to pay somewhere around 210 bucks by the time you buy the receiver and the actual controller that can control the power of these lights. We realized the sun was going down rather quickly, so we decided to do one last shot. We took her into an area that had a fire go through it a few years ago, so it was very open and we could see Mount Lassen in the background. One of the problems was to get Mount Lassen, the sun was setting and the light was right in her face. So what we did is we scrimmed her face off a little bit so she actually could open her eyes and look into the camera. And then we overpowered that sunlight with the Honey Badger light. It did a fantastic job. So here's my impression of this light. At $299, you can't go wrong. If you do not need high speed sync, this is incredible value. 320 watt seconds. You have the uh, modeling lamp on there that's LED that is very, very bright so you can use it as a video light. It even comes with a soft box. So you just can't beat that value. If the receiver is built in to this unit, if you're like me and you're shooting the uh, Interfit S1s, which is their larger mono light, the controller for that will also control these lights. So this is just an incredible value all the way around and it performed uh, great for us tonight. So this is Mark, your other chopstick guy, and on behalf of Steve, who's behind the camera tonight, we just want to thank you for uh, watching. Like and subscribe if you'd like to see more of these videos, and don't forget, say sushi.